Yeah, my first thought of God ever was uh, that God hated me. And I couldn't understand why. When I was nine years old uh, in Iran, uh, living there, um, we saw the Iranian revolution. I called it religion gone wrong happen. And I saw the Ayatollah Khomeini and his religious zealots just not only take over the government, but take over our nation. And, and what you're seeing right now over in that part of the world where innocent children and innocent people are, are losing their lives and, and women are being killed. I remember those days being not distant or on a TV screen, but like in our neighborhood. People under the banner of religion taking the lives of innocent people. When the Iranian revolution happened, I, I remember those days. My father was high ranked in the military. And so we lived in this army base in, in Iran. And, and I remember the revolution happening. And as it was happening, uh, about a week and a half, two weeks into the revolution, I remember going to school one day. We went to a military school on our campus. And, um, this school assembly was called. We all walked outside. We didn't have a place like this to meet. So we walked out in the back of the school. And, and the soldier was standing there. And he got out a piece of paper. And he read the name of three students, my name being one of them, and asked us to come to the front. And I made my way to the front. When I got there, I'll never forget, the soldier took a gun out of a holster and pointed it at me. And with his hands shaking, quoted the Quran and told me that he was called to come and take my life. And I was nine. Uh, you know, I didn't understand what all was happening, but the school principal did. And she got between me and the gun and just started to beg him out loud, like in front of the whole school, please don't do this. Please, please, don't. you can come back another time. And for all I cared, the brother didn't need to come back anytime. And, and I remember just being confused and, and being sent home. Like an hour later, it didn't happen, of course. And I got sent home. And I, I remember my dad coming home. He'd heard what had happened. And um, I remember sitting there and just my dad holding me and my dad telling me, I'm sorry that happened to you. My dad explained to me, he said, they're replacing the government and the biggest weapon that they have, this, this is what terrorism is, right? The biggest weapon they have is they use fear to freeze opposition and to motivate people. That's their weapon of mass destruction. And he said, they're using fear and they wanna make an example of, this. it's not you, it's who I am, my dad says, because of my position, they wanna use this as an example. And, and I remember as a kid just hearing that and, and asking him, why did, why did this man say that, that he, was, he was called to, to come kill me? And he said, you know, this is, this is what he thinks. And as he was explaining it to me, my dad said this, he goes, we're gonna get out of here. And in my mind, I remember thinking, oh, I see. God is mad at us and we're going to get away from him. So I remember as a kid thinking, I don't know what we've done to hack God off, but he's mad. 